Hey, welcome back. This is the uh, battle uh, Battleground Predictions. And uh, yeah, I'm a little off. I'm a little off. I don't have my belt. I don't have my belt. Oh, uh, Philip, Philip uh, Kalusik, which we've just decided to call him Philip K. Oh, Philip K. Uh, he is the uh, current prediction champion, which is ridiculous. This kid comes out of nowhere, gets the upset victory. You know who's really upset? Me. Guess what, Philip? I'm coming back for my title. And this time it's gonna be in the Punjabi prison. You ain't getting shit. You ain't getting shit. Uh, so, uh, last month we did, or not last month, two weeks ago, we did uh, where we left it open for the crowd. And I randomly selected one. But now there's already a champion out there. So, there will be no predictions except from Philip K. So, Philip, get your predictions in by tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're a minute late, I have no problems just stripping you the title. That's how ruthless I am. That's how bad I want my title. So as soon as you see this video, you better get your predictions in, buddy. Oh, I am going to stomp the shit out of you inside that Punjabi prison. Oh, it's going to be great. All right, so uh, I'm joined once again by Angel. And uh, yeah, you got to remember, she is not a wrestling fan. And she's just guessing on this shit. But somehow, she tied me last time, which is complete horse shit. Uh, so, I plan on just stomping both you guys, Goofy, in the prison and walking out the title this time. So, let's get into it. Now, real quick, we'll just do a quick rundown of the rules for people who don't watch the show or who may be watching for the first time. Uh, we run down the main card only. So, any pre-card or uh, yeah, pre-show stuff doesn't count. Uh, main card only. If something gets bumped to the pre-show then it is now invalid. Uh, same thing if the pre-show comes to the main show, doesn't count either. Uh, any impromptu matches doesn't count. And uh, yeah, in the case of a substitution, like let's say you, know, you vote for one guy, but he gets injured and they have to bring in someone else for that match, then your vote's out. But if you vote for the other guy, the opponent, and he's fighting the substitution, and that opponent wins, then you get the point. So that's just how it goes. Uh, we got uh, seven matches, seven matches uh, to pick from, and we also got a bonus question we're going to throw out there. And you got to answer the bonus question too, Philip. Answer the bonus question uh, for a bonus point, and you're going to need all the help you can get. Oh, so. <laughs> all right, so let's get to it right now. We're just going to kick things off. The bonus question is, who do you think trashed the Fashion Police uh, office? So, Sweet, I'm going to throw it to you first. Who do you think? What uh, group or tag team or whatever uh, do you think uh, trash the fashion police? The Usos. Uh, you're going to Usos. Okay. They had their history with the fashion police, so that kind of makes sense, I guess. All right. I will have you down for the Usos. Um, there's a lot of chatter online right now. Some people are thinking that maybe they're going to bring up... Um, the NXT guys. Some people said the Singh Brothers. But the one that really caught my attention, and maybe this won't be it, this is what I really want, is I'm going to say Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Reunite them, make them a tag team. Right now, tag division is floundering. We need more tag teams. Throw them back together, and guess what? Let them be the ones that are trashing them. And now that the fashion police are doing that whole X-Files thing, it'll play in perfectly, because now it's like a supernatural tag team or whatever. So I'm saying Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. All right, so you got you're, you're down for Usos. I'm down for Harper and Rowan. Philip, get yours in. All right, so now we're gonna go into the actual matches. Up first, we got uh, Sami Zayn versus Mike Kanellis. Uh, I'm gonna say Mike Kanellis. This is one of the few that I'm just gonna flat out say there's no other way. Like Kanellis is winning. Sami Zayn's a jobber. Mike Kanellis is new. They're not gonna make Kanellis lose. Uh, I'm saying Mike Kanellis. Sweetie, Sandy. You're going Sammy. Not Sandy. You said Sandy. Oh my god. So you're saying Sammy Zayn? Yeah. Alrighty. Um, so right off the bat, we're already, you know, alright. Uh, up next, it's the United States title match AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens. Who do you got? AJ. You're going AJ Styles. Uh, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one, actually. Uh, I think AJ Styles as well. Um, I just feel like. 
I mean, I can see them playing hot potato back and forth with these two, but the big rumor is Nakamura versus Styles for the title at SummerSlam. Now, it can be argued that they don't need the title, but the fact that, I guess, Nakamura was the, in one of the little backstage skits they had, he was eyeballing that title that AJ had, I'm, I'm saying they're going to probably end up facing each other. So, yeah, I'll agree with the AJ Styles. Um, excuse me. Uh, up next, it's uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus... Excuse you. Uh, she's very ladylike, people. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin. I'm going Nakamura just because, I mean... What's that wrong? Uh, Baron Corbin. Baron. You're going Baron Corbin. Well, I, I just went Nakamura because, A, he's still pretty new. And I just feel like they're going to protect him a lot. Uh, early on, so he's going to probably be on pretty good streak from here on out. And not just that, but Barry Corbin, I'm just not a fan, A, and B, he's money in the bank. Like, he, if it's if history's any indication, nine times out of ten, when the money in the bank holder, you know, is out there, he gets beat, he gets beat down, like, constantly. Uh, and a you know, big losing streak as well until he cashes in. And almost there now, I don't think his cash is going to be successful. I am sounding really good though. Yeah, successful. Uh, it will not be successful. Uh, I feel like he's going to try to cash in and lose, but it's not her here nor there. Uh, up next, it is the uh, five-way elimination match to become the number one contender for the women's title. Uh, it is Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Natalia, Tamina, and Lana. Who do you think is going to win? You're going Natalia. I'll be honest with you. I am at a complete loss on this one. Because I can see it going so many ways. Uh, I think the two obvious would be Charlotte Flair or Becky Lynch. Because I'm looking ahead. SummerSlam, you want a big, high-profile match, even though I do think that uh, Carmella's going to try to cash in her money to bank at SummerSlam. Um, and those two are the obvious. And then I was like, well, I can see Natalya coming out of left field and winning it, just because you know, you'd have a good heel versus face match at SummerSlam, uh, which I don't think... If Natalia or Tamina was to win this, uh, they would actually win a SummerSlam. I think they'd get beat by Naomi and then Carmella would cash in. Uh, but then you got Lana as well, or Lana. Uh, I don't know. This is a tough one, so it's toss up. You're going Natalia. That's actually a pretty good guess. I'll go Charlotte Flair. I'm going to play it safe on this one. But yeah, I can see it kind of going either way on this one. Up next, the flag match John Cena versus Rusev. I'm going John Cena because John Cena always wins lulls. Uh, he's not. There's no way he's losing this match. So I'm saying John Cena. Who do you got? John, John Cena, Cena versus your own John Cena as well. You know, you know. All right. Up next, it is the tag title match. Uh, it is the Usos versus the New Day. Uh, who do you got and why? Or I guess not why because you don't know. But who do, you're going Usos. You're going for the same pick from the Fashion Police thing. This was another one that was just a toss-up to me, because I seen go either way. I don't think it's going to end conclusively, because I, I think I can see this feud going on to SummerSlam. And, uh... But I don't want to lose my title, or lo lose a chance to get the title back. I'm going to go Usos, too. I'll, I'll join you on that one. All right. Main event time. It is for the world title inside the Punjabi prison. Jinder Mahal go up against Randy Orton. I'm going Jinder Mahal. Uh, I just feel like this is going to lead to John Cena not only defeating uh, the guy from Bulgaria, but he's going to go on to fight the guy, you know, from Canada. Uh, but, he, you know, he's representing, you know, the Indian population. Uh, I just feel like it's going to be, it's, it, we're just going back old school. It's just USA versus foreigners. And uh, with Cena beating Rusev, it's going to lead to Cena versus Jinder Mahal. For Cena's, um, what is, would it be a 17th? title win, so, uh, yeah, I'm saying Jinder Mahal on this one. What Randy. You, you're going Randy Orton. Alrighty. So there you have it. The votes are locked in. Philip K., get your votes in. Get your votes in. Do not, and you can't be, you know, 5 o'clock p.m. tomorrow. No, don't come at me, 501. Like, here's my vote. No. Bullshit. You get your votes in now. You want to get in the ring with me? You want to get in the Punjabi prison? You get your votes in immediately. All right, that's all we got. Anything else to add? Mm -hmm. I'm going to win. You ain't winning oh, shit. Yeah. You ain't winning shit. Yeah. Uh, if you win, I'll be so mad. I will throw the biggest hissy fit, and I will trash the set. Not trash that too hard, because it's actually where we live, but uh, I will trash something. Uh, so, yeah, that's all we got. Uh, tune in Monday. We'll have the uh, prediction results.
We'll see who we'll see me get that title back. So uh, yeah, don't say it. He ain't getting shit. All right, that's all we got. Till next time.